There are only two things that you absolutely need when you're creating a TTRPG character. I need a weapon. And it's not weapons, it's not armor, it's not spells. It's internal things, something that makes a good character, not just a good hero. Now both of these things have been inspired by the Adventuring Academy talk between Matthew Mercer and Brendan Lee Mulligan, but I think they honed in a lot on very specific NPC things. And I think if you expand both of the points they're making, you can use it for any character, including your own PCs. We're also going to use Indiana Jones as a quick reference point because I think he's a very simple, clear character and is a good example to use to explain these concepts. So the first thing your character needs is motivation. This seems obvious, but whenever someone asks you, hey, why is your character adventuring, you need to have an answer. But the big mistake is that a lot of people use an external motivator, something that has forced them out into the world in order to go adventure. But if it's an external motivator, if it's a problem to be solved, what, what happens once it's solved? If you set up as your motivation as being rich, well then what happens if you get rich? Do you just stop being an adventurer? That's not so fun. So what you need to do is have an internal motivation, something I like to call a push motivation, something that is keeping you on the road adventuring, rather than having something that is drawing you along. Also because the DM is gonna provide plot hooks that pull you along. You need something pushing you, which is you, the thing internally that you've created for your character, and then you're gonna receive something external that's pulling you and now you have motivation. For Indiana Jones, this is finding historic artifacts and returning them to museums. It's not all that complicated, it's not all that deep, he just is an archeologist. And then his DM has provided him plot hooks that get him out into the world to find those historic artifacts. That belongs in a museum! And the second thing you need is a weakness of some kind. Matthew Mercer and Brendan Lee Mulligan were talking about this as a fear, but I think fear is very specific. If you're scared of something, it gives you something to shy away from and something to overcome. I hate snake shot! I hate you! But it can be more than just something you're scared of. You, you can make a weakness that makes you, I mean, if you want, you could be a bad person or you could, if you're running an evil campaign, be a little bit of a good person. And then overcoming that, that weak spot gives you character growth and it lends depth to your character that allows you to be more real. Because if you roll up a character that's just basically perfect, who does everything right all the time, you're probably gonna find that halfway through the campaign, well, there's not a lot left to do. You're just going through the motions of leveling up. And that's, that's just grinding. That's not the fun of roleplay. The fun of roleplay is creating a realistic, real feeling character to play as. And part of being a real character is having weak spots to grow through. Same thing goes for the motivation. If you're halfway through a campaign, you might've run into a situation where you're like, why am I still adventuring? Having an internal motivation that is pushing you along will help with that. Which is why those two things are the only two essential things for TTRPG characters. That and also having rampant daddy issues really helps.